Last year, a competition was held in Dublin, Ireland, entitled Where There Is No Engineer. Entrants submitted projects that would provide practical solutions to engineering and development problems in the Global South. The winners were a group of final year DIT students, now graduates and working as civil engineers. They were hosted by Concern Worldwide, who arranged for them to travel to Marsabit in Kenya, where they planned to implement as much as possible their winning idea, an airdrop system that turns the air's moisture into much needed water. The original concept actually came from an airdrop system in Australia. It was used for irrigation and we saw that this would be a perfect example of something that could be implemented in Kenya. We wanted to change it a little bit so that it really wouldn't have as much reliance on the electronic side of things. This project has the potential of providing safe, clean drinking water in some of the world's most underdeveloped and water impoverished regions. The first challenge was to see if they could source as many of the parts required to build the airdrop locally. We're looking for materials for, uh, for the unit. So we're just taking a look around our first shop, seeing, uh, just seeing what we can find. We've already hit some great things like connections for the pipe. Uh, we found the ball bearing, which was one of our most difficult things to find. Uh, I see some tubing over there. Might be PVC, but it might be PEX, which is what we're looking for as well plywood here for the capping plates, I mean, so far so good, to be honest. This was an integral part of the overall design of the project. They visited local businesses and were able to source most of the parts there. The team held meetings with concerned staff and members of the local government to explain the project and secure assistance in building the first working prototype. The idea was that should we be unable to get the specific sizes and stuff, we could redesign it around what we could find here. Once the plans were discussed, there was immediate buy-in from all the parties involved. The team have secured a site from the local government where they intend to build a prototype. Engineers from both Concern and local government are now committed to working together to construct the airdrop. The team also visited a number of water systems in Marsabit, including a solar well that was being repaired by Concern and will provide clean drinking water to the surrounding area. Uh, we're marking out the barrel and plates which are going to make up the uh, windmill assembly at the top of the uh, mass system. By the end of the trip, Sean, Thomas and Brendan were even able to begin the construction of the wind turbine component of the airdrop using plywood, a metal rod and sawing up a disused barrel. The team planned to continue to liaise with the engineers in Marsabit and the plan is that the airdrop will become a reality in the coming weeks. All of this was achieved within five days. A fantastic achievement in such a short space of time.